Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. In our today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create an interface animation in Android. So, this is our demo application as you can see on the screen. And here we are having different types of animations. So, first one is the Enable Phoenix. Fix, uh, fix. So, this is one of the animations I'll show you by clicking on this. Your, all the UI components will be dropped down uh, like as a bouncing animation. So, as you can see, this is the animation. And one more animation we are having, that one is uh, this uh, shaking animation. As you can see, our all views are started shaking and you can stop it by clicking on stop shaking and uh, the same you can do with the physics animation. So this type of animation we are going to create in our today's tutorial. Hope you will like this tutorial and without wasting much time, let's start our tutorial. So head back to Android Studio and in order to create this type of animation, we need to use some third party libraries. So just go to Chrome and search for the interface interaction which is created by Agile, right? So this is a library allows you to create this type of beautiful animation. Uh, the, basically that you have two types of animation that is shaking and this physics animation. So this two type of animation you can create by using this library. You just need to import this library into your Android project. So without wasting much time, let's start. So this is our uh, dependency, you just need to copy it from here and just go to your Android Studio sample project and you can see here build.vrl file. So you just need to come to this file and at the bottom you need to paste that dependency here like this. And uh, after that click on sync now and uh, I had already did that so I am removing this. And once your project is successfully synced, you are ready to go. So then just go to your uh, XML file. And there you need to design the layout of your uh, uh, of your application where you want to do the animation, right? So as you can see, this is my layout which I showed you in this sample app. So basically, this is a sample project which I have downloaded from the GitHub from this library. But I am showing you how to implement this library. So this is the UI which I created here. As you can see, uh, this is normal toolbar. My toolbar, as you can see, this is my toolbar with the title, right? And below that I'm having a recycler view. This is my recycler view in which I had added three items, right? After that I'm having a linear layout in which I'm adding these three items here. I had created separate layout for them as you can see outside. So here is my linear layout. After that at the bottom as you can see I'm having a horizontal scroll view. So this is my horizontal scroll view and in, in which I had added this, this card items with image and name, right? And at the bottom at the last I'm having a button. So you can design any layout you want. I am just giving a rough idea about my UI design. And here my parent layout has been given ID as a root underscore layout. So once you have done the UI designing, just go to your main activity file, right? And you just need to here uh, declare two variables. First one is the gravity control. If you want to uh, do the physics animation, you need to create this gravity control variable. And for shake animation, you need to create this variable, shake builder. Now I am having one more file, two files actually. This is the adapter of this recycler view, right? If you don't have recycler, you don't need the adapter. You can create it by your own. And this is my model class in which uh, I am I uh, load the data and pass it to adapter. So for now, uh, I'll not explain those all things. I'll just do, I'll show you how to create this animation. Now you just need to come into on create method, and as you can see, I have created two variables at the top. So you need to initialize those variables, you can initialize it in this way. If you want to do six animation, so uh, the gravity variable will be gravity controller uh, ampere. Uh, this method you will get from the library. And in round pages, you need to pass the context and the ID of your parent layout in which you want to perform the animation. So my ID of parent layout is root underscore layout and had passes that ID, pass that ID here. And for shake, uh, if you want to uh, perform shake animation, the same thing. Uh, you'll get the class, this class interface interactor MPL from that library dot shape. You need to pass the context and dot build. Now your animation has been built. Now, uh, if you want to start the animation, you are, you need to call gravity controller dot start as I had did here, right? And if you want to stop the animation, you need to call gravity controller dot stop. Same uh, you need to do with the shake builder. The shake builder does uh, start my activity. And second one is uh, to stop the shake animation, shake builder dot stop animation. So this is uh, it. Uh, and the other stuff that I had did here is related to my uh, toolbar and uh, my data that I'm showing in the recycle view. So to do this animation, you just need to do perform these two lines, this one and start and stop function. 
that's all and once you do that your application will be ready and you can perform that animation in this way right this is the start physics animation it has been started right and if you want to stop you can click on this and it has been stopped the same this you can do with the shake animation start and this is stop so in this way you can perform this type of animation and i hope you will like this video and thanks for watching